going on everybody uh zach here stringmancer how's it going um it's raining here in cincinnati uh it's almost seven or maybe it's seven i don't know um not very good at these i need to get out of my shell um so i've partnered with a couple different um companies um a couple locally uh, a couple internationally um to demo and review gear um so i'm going to start out with a local company called monkey wires uh, they're out of williamsburg ohio not too far from cincinnati here just about 20 30 minutes east um mike there was nice enough to send me some cables to review to uh take a look at and kind of give my impression on so we're going to do that today um, I'm going to kind of go over my first impressions. That's going to be the first video. And then after that, uh, here in the next couple days, I'm going to demo these, see how they sound. Uh, right now we're just going to go strictly on first impressions and looks. So here we go. What's up dudes? All right. So I got these cables on my table here, um, which isn't really a table. Um, it's actually, and I've been asked about this a lot. So listen up, homies. This is a guitar case, hard shell case, on top of two totes in my kid's room because I don't have my own specified space. I have a very small house. Uh, my wife and I are looking to buy a house soon, and hopefully that can be rectified. But welcome to my table. Okay. So I was going to do an unboxing, but that obviously failed because I am an antsy bitch and I like to open things. So I did. Sorry, dudes. Um, but anyway, you get the gist. Uh, Mike sent me an awesome hat. Thank you so much for that. Monkey Wires sent me this cool orange hat. I like to wear hats to hold my hair out of my face while I am working on uh, things. You know, working on your guitars, working on amps, whatever. <clears throat> so he sent me a speaker wire, a couple patch cables, and a instrument cable. Pretty excited about these. So first impressions. Um, the first thing that really sticks out to me is this, the cable armor. So. Let's look at that. You can pick various colors. Um, he sent me a chart and I'll post a picture of that later in the video um, of what colors he provides. He's got, you know, a website, he's got a Facebook. So I'll put the links to that in the comments. Um, he's got his, you know, his cool monkey wires logo on each of these, which is pretty damn cool. Um, <clears throat> these ends are pretty heavy duty, so that's awesome. Um, you know, I'm not much of a pedal guy. Um, myself, I like to use a multi effects processor or a modular amp or, you know, something with some sweet built in effects, but I will, you know, I will review these and demo these on a pedal board soon. <clears throat> Next, we have a 14 gauge, five foot speaker cable, which, damn, look at that. Look at these big fat ends. I think all speaker cables should have these. This is awesome. This red cable armor, um, you know, that's gonna protect your cables. and. Don't be dumb, you know, that's that's covering what most companies send you. Like, that rubber uh, underneath, it's underneath here. Most, most cables you get just have that rubber. This has cable armor. This is going to protect your shit more than anything else. That's amazing. Um, these, this is pretty cool. I'm impressed with that because, you know, these cable ties are like two bucks for a pack of five when you go to the stores. 
when you go to the guitar stores, you go buy these, you go to the hardware store, buy these, whatever. Um, I feel like I buy these all the time because I like my cables to be nice and neat and awesome. Okay, <clears throat> so first impressions, it's thick, it's very thick. Um, it's not gonna break. I can pull on this, I can yank on it. Um, you know, there's nothing exposed, there's nothing, it's, the cable ends are on there very tight. You can squeeze it and twist it. They're not gonna come off. I get a lot of cables in the mail and these are just already off and I have to send them back and it sucks. So that's awesome. I'm just, I'm really impressed with the, the cable armor. This is something that you don't see on all cables. You see them on um, some heavy duty, uh, really expensive cables, but these cables aren't gonna break your bank. Um, he's got his prices listed on his Facebook and on his website. <clears throat> so that's pretty damn cool. I'm gonna be testing this out on my um, micro orange. Um, I got a dark tear that I really like to use. Okay, next. Instrument cable. Very cool. Again, um, I really love these, you know, first impressions. The screen really pops out. Um, the thing I like about the colors is, again, you can, you can pick, you can customize your cables with monkey wires. That's cool to me. That's awesome to me. Um, you know, when you go to a guitar store, when you first start out and you don't know what the hell you're looking for and you don't have a preference, um, certainly me, when I was a young lad uh, living in Hillsboro, Ohio, and I went to Dallas Music Shop, I went and I found the coolest cable I could find. Um, and it was like a bright pink uh, stag cable, which is was total junk, but it was cool for me back in the day. So again, cable armor, really cool. You know, all the normal rubber stuff is underneath that, but it's protected. It's protected by this shielding, which is awesome. Uh, cable ends, again, gold tipped, that's sweet. Um, you know, you can see that does unscrew, so you'd be able to get in there and solder, but it doesn't come off with ease, which is a plus to me. So there's that. These are pretty cool. Um, very durable. I'm really excited. So next video in the next couple days is going to be uh, demoing these, hooking them up to my amp, hooking them up to my guitar. So yeah, if there's any other kind of cable that you'd like for me to track down or look into, uh, hit me up, send me some messages right in the comments below. Um, you know, let's, uh, let's see what we can get into. But uh, that's uh, the first video for Monkey Wires. Thanks guys.